disease duration and age go hand in hand, right? The older you are, the longer you're likely to have disease. Um, uh, as the pretty general rule, however, there's more. There are some nuances, like late onset MS. Um, you know, uh, patients who have onset, like uh, when they're a kid, will have longer disease duration, even though they're younger, um, rather than someone who has their first manifestation, like you know, late 30s or something like that. But in general, age will correlate with um, disease duration. When we take a different look at, um, at the natural history of the disease overall, early on, we see a lot of peripheral inflammation, a lot of relapses, a lot of MRI activity. And a lot of the studies have shown that the older you get, the less relapses there are, the less MRI changes, the less disease activity. Um, and kind of, you know, it's been brought up a couple times during this conference and different uh, analysis is we don't really know we don't have a really good idea of if we should be treating pa older patients differently if what's actually underlying the disease is different. Um, so for instance, um, uh, early on patients have a lot of disease activity, uh, a lot of peripheral information, our immune drugs are targeting that. As they get older and their relapses decrease and MRI changes decrease, do the drugs still treat the current pathophysiology of the disease? And we believe that the older patients, when they start having more of the progression and, and the neurodegeneration, that it's uh, more smoldering inflammation, compartmentalized inflammation, and then loss of metabolic pathways um, that really aren't reliant on the peripheral immune system anymore. So then our drugs aren't really targeting that either. As patients get older, they also have different risks. So as they in get older, they have greater infection risk. So then we, we don't really understand what the role of our medication is in that age group. So that's kind of the um, uh, the overall setup, like we we understand that the disease reduces, but we're not quite sure if our medications still treat what we want to treat in the older age, and that's kind of what's the most lacking at this time.